Hello, in this video we're going to demonstrate some of the new social features that are coming in .NET Nuke 6.2. Now we're currently running a pre-release build of .NET Nuke 6.2 here within our web browser. And we, we will see here on the page up in the top right corner, we have a new user control where we can register and log into the website. Now within the website I've already previously created a community tab and on that community tab we now have the social groups module. The social groups module in 6.2 allows users of your website to create and join and participate in social group functionality. And I've previously created a social group here called customers. That social group currently has two members. Now if I go ahead and log into the website, I'm going to log in with a, a sample user named Maverick. And this is Maverick logging in essentially for the first time to the website. He is not part of the customer social group so he has the ability here to join the group and click on the join option that takes Maverick to the social group and he is now a member of that social group as a member of the social group he can post a message to the group and click on share and now that message has been posted publicly to anyone who can visit the group page now within the message if we go ahead and want to type another message we can actually control permissions on the message by clicking on the little eye icon down in the bottom right. You can see we can control who can view it. Everyone, only members of the group, friends of the user, or we can also make it private. Now I'm not going to go ahead and post this message. I'm going to post a different message here. And within this message, I'm going to upload a photo from my computer. So I'm going to choose upload from my computer. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a photo that I've previously configured. Now as I choose that, I can go ahead and share that, and it will be attached within that particular post I've now posted on the user group or the group page. So we have the bicycle here, we have the message, we also have a link to my particular profile. Now the new profile page within 6.2 shows us a lot of different information. You'll see another status bar here where we can actually post information to our profile. On the right side, we can see that activity feed of anything that's been previously posted to the profile. We can view what our profile would look like. Now, this user hasn't come in and updated their profile, so most of the information is empty. We can also see a list of our friends. Now, Maverick is logging in for the first time. He doesn't currently have any friends associated with his account. And then there's a new messaging interface within .NET Nuke 6.2 in which we can have messages. We also have notifications. We'll demonstrate both of those here in a few moments. But let's go ahead and navigate back to that community tab and the customers group. Now within the customers group, you can see that Maverick and the super user account both have posts within this group. If we go ahead and click on the members section on the right side of the group page, we can see the other members on this website and we'll see there that Goose is already a member of this particular group. So we can go ahead and add Goose as a friend. That actually sends a friend request and when Goose logs into the website next time we'll see an, a notification in the top right corner. And we'll access that here in a few minutes. We also have the ability to send Goose a message here clicking on the mail icon. We'll demonstrate that a little bit later on as well. Now before we go in and demonstrate the functionality from Goose's perspective, let's go ahead and update Maverick's profile. So we can navigate the Mavericks profile page by clicking on his name in the top right corner. We can click on my profile. Once again, you can see the information is not actually updated. Let's go ahead and click on the edit profile link. This will take us to the manage profile functionality within .NET Nuke 6.2. And that looks very similar to the manage profile functionality in earlier versions of .NET Nuke. One of the changes, though, is over on the right side, next to each of the fields, we can come in and click on the little lock icon and choose how the visibility of this particular field should be restricted. So should it be visible to anyone who can view the website, only people who are logged into the website, only administrators, or only friends and, and fellow group members. So we can control that for each of those profile properties. Now I'm not going to update all the profile information for Maverick. I will go ahead and just choose a country here. Once we've chosen the country, we can choose our state and we'll just populate a city as well now at the bottom of the page we can scroll down there's more profile fields we could put in a bio what I wanted to demonstrate is the photo functionality now in the photo section 
If we go ahead and choose from the drop down list, we can see there's already a photo attached to this account. That was that bike photo that we uploaded. Well, when you are a user in .NET Nuke within 6.2, there's a new user directory where users can create and modify and upload contents of their own. And the upload file option here will give us access to that as well. We can go ahead and browse and choose a photo that we want to upload for our profile photo. So I'll go ahead and click Save. That uploads the photo. We could once again control permissions on that photo. If we go ahead and click on Update, that will save our profile photo. Let's go ahead and navigate back to our profile. We can see the profile photo shows up. If we were to look at the profile page, we can see that some of the region and location information is now being populated. If we go ahead and navigate back to our groups page again, go to the customers group, you can see our photo is now being listed there as well. So from here, we're going to go ahead and log out of the website as Maverick and demonstrate what the website would look like as Goose. So I'll go ahead and log in as Goose. And when we log in as Goose, we can see that we have a notification in the top corner. We already have our username and our profile photo loading up in that new user control area. If we click on the notification icon, that'll take us to our notifications and we can see that Maverick wants to be friends. We can accept that or we can deny it or dismiss it. We'll go ahead and accept that and we've now added a new friend. Now from our, our uh, messaging page here, which is part of our profile, we could click on the friends option on the right and we can now see that Maverick is listed there. From here we can navigate and view his profile. We could also post a status message to his profile. We can send a message to, the, to his, that user. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that functionality. We'll click on the send message option and we get the ability to send a message with a subject and a body. Go ahead and click on send. That will send the message to Maverick. Now, once Maverick logs into the website again, he would then see a notification that he has a message. Let's go ahead and demonstrate that. Log out, log back in, and we'll log in as the Maverick user. Once we're logged in as Maverick, we can see the notification that we have an email. If we click on that link, it takes us to the messaging page. We have a test message here. We can view that test message. We could archive the message. We could mark it as unread. We could reply to that message. We can reply just directly in line as well. And click reply. And that message has now been sent back to Goose. He would then have that within his messaging system. Now, in addition to some of the social functionality we've demonstrated here so far in the video, there's a lot of other new things that are coming in .NET Nuke 6.2. One of the things we haven't really mentioned yet in our discussions about .NET 6.2 are some new authentication options within the platform. Now we can find our authentication options by navigating to the admin extensions page. And from the extensions page, if you expand the authentication systems section, what we'll find here is a list of the authentication types within .NET Nuke. And you'll see there are four new authentication projects here within .NET Nuke 6.2. There's a Facebook authentication, Google authentication, live authentication, and then Twitter authentication project. So what this would allow you to do is you can enable authentication through each of those four systems through your website. So a user of Twitter or a user of Facebook could use their Facebook information to log in and create an account on your website, simplifying the amount of login and password information they need across multiple websites and allowing you to tie into some of that social functionality of those other websites. Now in future videos, we'll go through and show you how to configure each of those authentication systems on a system-by-system -system basis. Now the last thing we're going to demonstrate within the social functionality of .NET Nuke 6.2, if we go ahead and navigate back to the Customers and the Groups page here, when we go to post a new message or a new item on a Groups page, we have the ability to upload an image or a document. Now when you choose either of those options we have the ability to choose to upload from my computer or to browse from my site. If we choose from the browse from my site option you can see the 
new user folder functionality that allows users to have their own collection of files which they can then use and attach or upload to their posts so we can go ahead and choose one of those existing fi files and attach that into a post and it will show up within the post now some additional functionality within within this journal system here which is kind of an activity feed allows us to come in we can like individual posts we can also comment on individual posts now you wouldn't typically comment on your own post but for demonstration purposes we will and goose could come in and comment or any additional users could come in and comment on the photos as well so that's a quick demonstration of some of the new features within dot net nuke 6.2 we have a lot more coming and you'll see a lot more videos on the website uh, under the video library as we get closer to the dot net nuke 6.2 release thanks for watching